if I want to implement the full wave rectifier circuit in Martisim, then I actually need four diodes. So for that reason, let me simply add one N4007, this diode, and I need this diode four times, so I'm simply gonna copy and paste three times more here. This is my four diodes, one N4007, but if you want, you can add one N4002 as well. And now I need a AC power source. So I need to add a AC power, this. And moreover, I also need a register. So I'm simply gonna take register rated. So here I have all of the components I need right now. I'm gonna change the value of this AC power source. Let's say 3.54 RMS voltage and frequency 1000 Hertz. Again, if you don't know why I'm changing this or uh, how I'm changing this right now, you can watch the earlier content where I explained this as well. So first of all, I need to make sure that I am implementing the circuit properly. All right. Let me simply select all of the diodes and rotate this in the upper portion like this. All right. And let me rotate this AC power source also like this. Cool. And I need to connect them all together with this AC power source. How I can do that? Look carefully. So I'm simply going to connect this diode with this AC power source like this and this diode in the AC power source like this. But for this diode, I'm going to add this to the AC power source like this, not with this corner all right and i'm gonna do the same thing for the last diode as well i'm not gonna like this like this this will connect with this diode directly so i'm not gonna do this but i'm gonna do i'm gonna simply change it the direction and add like this all right and here i'm gonna connect this two diodes like this and i'm gonna do the same thing right here as well so i'm gonna simply connect uh, diodes like this and about this register i'm gonna rotate this register like this and i need to add this register in the parallel connection of this circuit so it should be like this cool my circuit implementation has been completed successfully now let's say if i simply want to show you the output channels graph what i need to do i need to simply add a oscilloscope like this and let's say i'm gonna get the graph in channel b so i'm gonna simply connect channel b to this register side like this that's it now if i simulate this let me resolve the issues first now if i simply simulate this i can simply double click in our oscilloscope so this is my output graph i can simply change the scaling to get the output graph successfully so this is my full wave rectifier all right this is my full wave rectifier so in this circuit i haven't used any capacitor but if you want you can use a capacitor here as well how you can do that let me show you quickly so for adding capacitor i can simply add a capacitor rated like this and i need to rotate this capacitor and what i need to do i need to add this capacitor in the parallel direction against this register like this and for getting the output graph i need to add the connection to the oscilloscope against this capacitor not the resistor this time all right so i can simply add this like this and add this here like this so if i simply start the simulation process again 
you see this is my output graph so that's it if you can follow this properly then i hope you can implement any type of two wave rectifier circuit in multisim and you can also simulate it properly